Hey guys, it's a real crude video I'm just putting together really quick. I will have a more extended one in the future on my YouTube channel, but I wanted to do some temperature testing in the engine bay just to kind of see what, what temperatures there I'm seeing like across the engine bay itself and to see if it's safe for lithium batteries to be running there. Um, the general consensus is that lithium degrades with high temperatures and you have to store it inside and uh, from everything I'm seeing, uh, the, the lithium operating temps go up to 140 degrees. And from the research that I found online, it looks like engine compartments only get up to about 125. So I thought, why is this the case? And why are people shying away from all the advantages that lithium offers? So right here, I decided to start this test with a 30 minute idle time in my driveway. It's about 75 degrees outside right now. You can see it started about 1215 here and it goes up to about 1245 and the max temp got 118 degrees. So this next 15-20 uh, minutes is me driving a steady about 45-50 miles an hour between here and the town I was going to be driving around in. Um, it, there's a few stoplights in between here, but uh, you know, a sustained 50 mile an hour dropped the temperature in the engine bay nearly down to ambient temps. You can see here about 1.05 p.m., 76 degrees. So this next portion of the test, after 1.05 p.m., I decided to drive around Rockwall, Texas, which is a lake city, kind of hilly and stuff. But I wanted to see um, slow, see how the engine bay temps performed with slow speeds with very minimal airflow coming into the engine compartment to kind of move that hot air out. Uh, you could see I started here about 1.05 and I drove until about 1.40. Um, the majority of this time I stayed under 20 miles an hour. Most of the time it was 10 to 15 miles an hour. And I tried to keep the RPMs between uh, 1,000 to 2,000. Roughly it was about 1,500 probably is the average of RPMs during this whole time. But uh, you can see here that the max temp got up to 109, 110. And that was, uh, you know, I felt pretty good considering that I was going up and down hills that were, you know, probably 20 to 30 degree inclines and uh, really going slow with very minimal airflow. You can see this section right here, I was driving about 20 miles an hour, and even just with that minimal airflow at 20 miles an hour, it dropped the temperature down below 100 degrees. So I think uh, the, the fear of internal engine bay temperatures is really uh, pointless here because um, this su sustained low speed, low airflow still is well below the 140 degrees that um, really start to negatively affect the lithium batteries. So this next portion was me driving about 40 miles to get to the highway. It dropped substantially just in that short period of time. And then driving a sustained 75 miles an hour, about 2,500 to 3,000 RPMs for the next 20 or so minutes. And you can see it dropped even below ambient temperatures. So I really don't think that there's going to be an issue with heat here. Um, the next portion of this graph, which you're about to see here, was me shutting the car off in my driveway and just letting it sit there with the engine off. Um, I didn't know if it would kind of the, the ambient temperature from the motor cooling off with no coolant running through would actually increase the internal temperature. But you can see here it only got up to about 87 degrees in uh, engine bay temp. So I, I am going to be moving forward with the lithium uh, battery install that I got from Renogy in, in the engine compartment. I will kind of keep tabs on it and I do have an off-road trip planned here in June. So I really expect to kind of do some more testing there. But I really don't think there's going to be any issue with... Um, with a lithium battery installed in the engine bay.